Genshin Impact is a wildly popular game, so it makes sense that it has received a few manga adaptations. However, unlike the game, the Genshin manga are not very popular. There is an official webtoon story thing, but this video is just about the two anthology series. The first one of these is Genshin, Rengeki Comic Anthology. Each chapter is its own short story, and each is written and illustrated by a different mangaka. Because of this, I will just talk about each chapter individually. According to my anime list, there are 13 chapters of this manga, but I was only able to find an English translation of 9 chapters. The first chapter focuses on the characters reviewing each other's cooking. It is presented as a game show, where things go out of control. The art is that of any other slice of life manga, and the paneling is just average. You could tell that the mangaka had fun making this, which I appreciate. It's just an average slice of life chapter. The second chapter was a pretty uncomfortable read, as it discussed how attractive the characters were, and I'm not about to embarrass myself like that. The art and paneling are a bit hit or miss in this chapter, but there are some pretty cool panels. Chapter 3 is about how the character Mona racks up a huge bill from eating lots of food at a restaurant. It's a pretty goofy chapter, and although not my kind of humor, I could see why others would like it. The art is pretty average, and the paneling is just fine. My biggest complaint is how the bubble placement is pretty meh at times, with bubbles being put in all kinds of weird places. The fourth chapter is about night training. Like chapter 2, this chapter is kinda sus in how the big joke is just how attractive the characters are. The paneling is pretty mundane, and the art feels kind of lazy at times. There really isn't just much to say about this chapter. Much like the previous chapter, chapter 5 is kinda meh. The art and paneling are just average, and the story is kinda odd. It's about dealing with a bug while wearing a quote, M-rated outfit. It's pretty underwhelming. Chapter 6 is an improvement. The art style is quite pleasant, and the paneling is very dynamic. In this story, the character Klee gets a job at a restaurant. During this job, Klee meets a child, and they become friends. Later on, it turns out that the child went missing, and Klee rescues her. Overall, this chapter is pretty wholesome, and although I'm not particularly fond of Klee, I have to admit this is the best chapter in the anthology. Chapter 7 is a lot more mundane. The chapter's joke is how food tastes good. This is the third food-oriented chapter so far. The 8th chapter is all about the character Amber. Amber has to chase down a monster that stole a book, which contains secret information. I liked the paneling in this chapter, and the art isn't too bad either. The joke at the end was also mildly humorous. The ninth chapter is another food chapter. In this chapter, the character Fiscal cooks some food. The paneling fits the mood, and the art is pretty good. The issue is that this is the 4th food chapter. Overall, the Genshin Dengeki comic anthology is fine, I guess. For the most part, the art and paneling were just average. There were really only two stories that stood out to me, and it kinda sucks that so many of these chapters are about food and attractiveness. Although I was pretty critical of this anthology, it's important to note this is more of a fun, chill compilation. The second anthology is simply called Genshin Comic Anthology. It has 12 chapters, but I was only able to find an English translation for 7 of them. In chapter 1, the character Albedo buys a coat with his friends. There are a few character jokes here and there, and that's pretty much it. The art is pretty good actually, but the paneling is just kinda average. The funniest part of this whole chapter was the mangaka's comment at the end. Chapter 2 has a quality that is consistent with chapter 1. In this chapter, the character Hu Tao creeps out Chi Chi, and she has to make amends. It's just a solid slice of life chapter. In the third chapter, a bunch of characters fight a monster plant. This chapter is told from the monster's perspective, which is mildly funny. The art and action were pretty cool, and there isn't really anything to complain about. Chapter 4 is about cooking. The art is very cutesy, and although not really my kind of thing, it does match the tone of the chapter. This chapter is fine. I guess I just have trauma from the previous anthology. Chapter 5 is about the characters becoming friends. It's another standard slice of life chapter. The art and paneling are kind of average, there just really isn't much to say about it. The 6th chapter is kind of odd. The character Lumine goes on a date with the villain child. Their date ends with a battle. The paneling is lazy at times, and the art isn't anything to write home about. Chapter 7 is a standard slice of life chapter about the antics that the characters get up to in the library. The story revolves around the character Fiscal, who has a flair for the dramatic. The art and paneling complement this tone very well, and the few jokes that were in this chapter were kind of funny. Overall, this is probably my favorite chapter out of these anthologies. The Genshin comic anthology was significantly better than a Genshin Dengeki comic anthology in almost every way. The quality of the art and stories of the Genshin comic anthology were pretty decent too, especially for a video game manga. Manga. That does it for the review. It is important to note that I'm not really a big slice of life fan, and I'm more hypercritical and cynical than most readers, so I probably was a bit too harsh on these stories. Thank you all for your recent support on my last video. Later gamers.